Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Okay, we're still in Wall Market. Now, we've went around and we've explored everything there is to see here, I think, anyway. So, time to run up to Don Quineo's mansion. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. You know, I was always a little bit confused by the art style used in Corneo's mansion. Because on one hand, his name is Don Corneo. No, I'm assuming Don, at this point, isn't his first name. Don is sort of like um, the Spanish concept of, like, a lord. But his house seems to be based around this Japanese style. So, a Spanish guy living in a Japanese house in this weird techno-punk world. Hmm. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Just open the damn door. There's another thing, this uh, little... I don't know what the hell this is supposed to be. Like little shops or something sitting here that no one ever seems to occupy was in the original game. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Wall Market. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother There the were, trio. of course, characters here in the original game that refused to allow us to enter. But there was no named characters. This Leslie character is a new addition to the game. I still don't quite buy that Cloud couldn't just bust his way in there, but okay, they want us to have to do other stuff. All right. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas. Not really. So that's the <laughs> way it is. Hmm? Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But... To earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio, right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. You know, I don't know about Johnny. Was, in the original game, was he... A popular character the fans really latch on to this guy because I never really did but he seems to have gotten quite a bit of extra treatment in this game a lot more of a prep a lot more of a presence now of course everything has more of a presence in this game but Johnny just seemed like just a reoccurring face that you see in the early parts of the game and eventually he just stays in Costa del Sol so you don't really see him after that but was he really a popular character not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time we'll be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. 
Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am! Heads! Huh? Hmm? Hmm. Uh -huh. Tail, you lose. Uh. Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. Uh. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. <sighs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. In the original game, finding your way in the Corneo's mansion was quite a bit more straightforward. And of course, you did have to go and get the dress to get Cloud into the mansion, but you didn't have to go do this weird get the approval of all of these different people kind of thing. So Don Corneo has these three individuals in Wall Market, which supposedly are the ones that understand his taste in women. So, okay, this guy shows up, and he brought Tifa in. So his job is done, I guess. He's not going to suggest any more people. So we got the two others that we need to go and get the approval of to get Aerith in there. And we also, since Cloud's going to dress up like a woman, he's going to sneak in there too. We need to get someone's approval for him. But in the original game, all you really had to do was get the dress and maybe get a, get the wig. And then you could do one of the other stuff like the, the perfume or the makeup. And then you just presented yourself to the people at the door, which in this game would be Leslie. In this, though, we have to go and do a lot of other stuff. We have to go and talk to all these different people, and we gotta go. There's some mini-games we're gonna have to do. It's gonna be a much more involved process. And it's gonna take quite a bit longer. But again, everything in this game takes longer than the original. Kind of used to it by now. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Is this the place? Uh, I just Think so. to see Andrea. Let me handle this. this. My weak will. You wait out here, but okay? It was like... And why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh. We don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required, and the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years?! All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare. But Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. 
Otherwise, I'm sorry, but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Johnny was waiting outside the honeybee in, in the original game. Although it was just, he didn't really converse with him. He was just going on about debating with himself on whether he should go in or not. The honeybee in in this game, I think I mentioned this in the previous episode, but the, hmm, the representation of it in this is a little bit different. In fact, it's very much different. In the original game, I thought of the honeybee in was probably some kind of a brothel, although they didn't really, uh, they didn't really explicitly state that. And the stuff that you did once you got into the rooms was a little bit strange. Cloud never, like, he never had sex with anybody there. But it was presented as being, a, like, a house of prostitution. In this, it's a little bit more like... Oh, my God, Johnny. In this game, it's a little bit more like... Like a... Place we go to see a show. Welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Mm-hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Ugh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? <laughs> hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! <sighs> The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? <laughs> then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? Well then, it should go without saying that you get what you pay for. All four fingers at once, quick and to the point. Uh, uh, little rough. Hmm? They can stop at any time if it's too much to handle. Try flexing the muscles. You'll feel the difference. Hmm? Loose and limber. Am I right? Actually, yeah. Hmm. How was it? It's all right, I guess. What are you doing? Flexing. Flexing. Uh, never mind. Hm. Think you'll make a habit of it? <sighs> All right. 
Great then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So, tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But, you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Is there any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So... What do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. I appreciate the confidence, just don't get too cocky, okay? There is no shortage of weird shit going on in this game. He goes in there, and... <laughs> oh my god. Now... I, I don't know what the hell it was that I just saw. A hand massage? What the hell is that? What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. does this thing go, you think? I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. Hey! Lovebirds! Over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery and sin, the pain and pleasure, where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. Oh, my For you esteemed connoisseurs of chaos and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart and or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the gill and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the Bloodstar Beast will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes in tonight's Corneo Tower!
here is a new addition to this game that was not in the original. This sort of uh, battle arena. You go down there, you fight some fights, you go and you win yourself some prizes, and it's what we gotta do to uh, get somebody's attention. Now, I think this is... I don't know, they, they kind of needed something like this in this part of the game because there are a bit of a shortage of the dungeons and stuff that you got to go through and the side quests and all that kind of stuff. So it, it adds a nice little little interruption to the normal slog through the game. Unfortunately, I think it's a little bit weird that we're trying to keep at least a little bit of a low profile, but we're going and putting on fights in front of crowds and all that. Also, I don't think it really fits in with Aerith's um, characterization. Because she, at least in the original game, came across as a little bit more of like an innocent character. Now we go here, and especially in Wall Market, we see a bit more of her wild side coming. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries, and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. Damn it, Johnny. Stop showing up everywhere. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. For our next match, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! Well, this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! Bullshit. What's up with the pole? Gonna do a little dance for us, baby girl? <laughs> okay, now I'm mad. Three of them, one of Wall Market's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pet make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell. The Sanguine Stalkers! You brought animals? Oh? First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink! Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! You know, I get that a lot of weird and illegal shit goes on in Walmart, but who the hell would willingly go into these kinds of fights knowing that they were gonna get jumped and cheated, cheated against and all that? I gotta speed these fights up though, because the, uh, this episode's gonna last way too long if I don't. I don't think anyone saw this coming! What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eric! Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Okay, now you just go back here. Hey, flowers. You go rest up, buy your potions, and then move on to the next fight. 
sort of a rinse and repeat kind of thing. Cloud and Aerith. Your match will begin shortly. With all the production value that went into this Please game, make your you think they would have known not to put the bench next to anything where Cloud sword might clip through it. Especially considering you know Cloud's always going to have an oversized sword. You know he's always going to be the character that sits on the bench. They would have maybe not put something next to it. But, you know, who am I to judge? Hmm. That was some bullshit. Oh, guy survived. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semi-final! Fresh from their first date with death, I present the Lucky Couple! We're like unlucky for the rest of us! Give it up once again for Cloud and Aerith! Couple of my ass! What the hell you two try to pull? You assholes cost me a fortune! Yeah, yeah! Their opponents, screamers in this campground, thieves and killers through and through! Two criminal for common criminals, the worst of the worst! Ladies and gentlemen, check your pockets, because they may have already robbed you blind! The most contemptible son of bitches inside of war market, Vex Benefits! members of Bex Badasses. Hey, that's cheating. The only rule here is that there are no rules. Yeah. If Corneo says it's okay, you gotta suck yeah. it up. Yeah. The dad has branded with approval. This is ridiculous. The odds are overwhelmingly stacked against this. This could be a real bloodbath. So I implore you, ladies and gentlemen, don't look away or you may miss the best part. The second match of the Corneo Cup semifinals begins oh, now! Oh, these stupid idiots again. I guess it's the number of times that we're going to run into these people. And then you do need reoccurring enemies to appear over and over again. But I don't know. These are more comic relief than anything like that. Anything that would seem like a credible threat. So I just think it's a little... They're a little... What the hell did I just see? It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot. But somehow the winners of our match are... Once again, Cloud and Aerith! That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call it. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. <clears throat> that is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! Hmm. 
Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. I'm pretty sure Eris' mother didn't want her getting involved in anything dangerous. So here we are, she brought us to frickin' Walmart and got us entered into some sort of like a... <laughs> cage fighting or pit fighting tournament Cloud with and swords and, and gangsters and... Shortly. I don't know. She'd probably Please get a little bit pissed off if she found out about all this. So. Of course, it's not the worst thing that's gonna happen to her, but whatever. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go. <laughs> we know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the play! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madam M, Cloud, and Eric! Executioners, Chocobo Sam's champions, Cuddy and Sleepy! Come on! Robot? More like Shinra armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with the one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now! I guess these are sort of, at this point, come across as more generic enemies, because we've seen the sweepers before. Now, the sweepers were enemies that you saw a few times throughout the game, the first game, but they were never bosses. They were bosses in the Final Fantasy VII demo, but they weren't uh, bosses normally. But I guess, I mean, they have a cool design, so why not use them? This has never... I can't believe it! And the winners of the Corneo Cup, the deadly and dynamic duo, Cloud and Aerith! My condolences. Mm. Oh, you're taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course. Even if they are both the same. <laughs> Later. And now, I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madame M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? 
The crowd loved her show a little too much. People were placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! You greedy bastard, scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? <laughs> I sure hope so. Go on now. That prize money is going to pay for your dress. That is kind of messed up. These people went through everything and now you're making them fight over again? Especially since the deal that Cloud and Aerith had with Madame M had nothing to do with Don Corneo. I don't know, it seems like, like, okay, she wants a dress. Alright, well the dress is nowhere, isn't going to be anywhere near, isn't going to cost nearly as much as Madame M's prize money for this fight. So honestly, she should really just honor her end of the agreement here. Go on now. That prize money. But whatever. We're trying to get these people to do something honorable is a little fucked up or unreasonable, I guess. And honestly, Aerith doesn't really need a crazy, uh, a crazy high-end dress to be attractive enough to get through the door. I think. So this seems like a lot of extra effort for nothing. Of course, sure it's just for gameplay reasons they want to add another fight into this whole thing. So they gotta find some kind of an excuse. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Okay, one more fight. Better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we share your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match will be this evening's leading lights the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Cloud! Cloud! Over here! Look at them! They're so adorable! You're the man, Cloud! Aaron, I love you! Marry me! Their opponent, buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! to come keep your eyes glued to the action ladies and gentlemen the cup's final final battle begins now oh, the me. battle is so my turn? i nearly crapped myself when i saw this encounter the hell house was an enemy in the original game but it wasn't anything special it wasn't a boss battle or anything like that it was a random encounter 
found in the space between sector five and sector six when you're going to wall market. So there's a good chance that you're really only going to fight the thing maybe once. It's possible you don't fight the thing at all. You just don't have that random encounter. Wait. No, not yet. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? What the? Look out! The Hell House was not something that was intended to have any kind of like big backstory or anything like that too. It was just a random encounter. So it didn't really have to make a whole hell of a lot of sense. In fact, a lot of the enemies that you see in the original game don't make any damn sense. It's just something that like, oh, well, there's some random enemy. And this one happened to have been a freaking house. It sits there and then arms and legs break out of it and it starts attacking you. This, it's made out to be a much bigger deal. You have to whop on a thing quite a bit longer to destroy it. It has a lot more abilities and all that kind of stuff. And the arms and legs and all that coming out of it are clearly, like, uh, mechanical. Which wasn't really the case in the original game. The original game gave it more of... I don't know, the graphics were a lot more primitive, but it looked a lot, to me, like a lot more of, like, a, some sort of, like, a biological entity. The enemies didn't have to make sense in the original game. At least they didn't have to make sense in the sense that they tried to make them make sense here. So, none of that was really all that necessary. But here we are, fighting a freaking house with arms and legs. They've made it out to be a big deal. And now, I guess, unlike Johnny, I can understand why the Hell House has some measure of, like, fan following. Because it seems to be something like people keep bringing up in reference to the original game. Like, there was an enemy that was just a house. You fought a house. It's memorable, even if it wasn't something that was all that significant. And I guess that's the kind of... That's the kind of thing that this remake really leverages to try and pull out the feeling of nostalgia for the players. Because it's not necessarily all of the big... The big moments in the game that people remember or the things that really stick out in people's mind but it's the little things and of course there are a lot of little things in the original game that nobody gives a crap about but the ones that that people remember are the ones that you have to play off of and the hell house is one of them uh, if cloud and Aerith are trying to maintain some kind of a low profile because i mean they are trying to sneak in the don quineo's mansion after all you think they wouldn't be going through all of this because I mean they're fighting they're fighting this pit fighting tournament in front of a crowd full of people. Everyone in town is going to see them. Everyone's going to know who the hell they are. At least in the original game they had some measure of anonymity. Nobody know nobody knew who the hell they were. So sneaking into the mansion was a little bit easier. And in this it just doesn't make any sense to me how the hell they were expecting to get in to see the Don if <laughs> everybody should know who the hell they are. I mean, Leslie turned them away at the door. And then Leslie's watching this, so he's seeing them again. And like, what the hell, once we get back up to the house, he's like, like, well, well, time to let you in now. Oh, this uh this girl look happens to look a whole lot like that guy with the gigantic sword that was in that freaking pit fighting tournament that I watched. And everybody bet on, including the other, uh, the three members of Don's crew. Hmm.
boy. <laughs> Awfully rare are you showing an interest in someone. What will you do? There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. Cloud finally managed to pull off a high five, and we did enough, I'm guessing, to get the dress for Aerith. So, moving on. We can go back to the Coliseum if we wanted, and we could participate in a number of extra fights, and I guess I'll do that With later. Babies, you can send but I, it's one of them things where you go and you get extra prizes, like armor, and weapons, items, that kind of crap. Are you ready for this? Ah. <laughs> You've got this. Come on. <laughs> I knew you could do it! Not bad, <laughs> One more wreck! 